A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 12th Feb. On the front page you have Aap, Aam Admi Party sweeps Delhi with 62 seats. BJP trounced. Aap gets 53.6% uh, votes. That is marginally below its 54.2% share in 2015 legislative assembly elections. So out of 70 seats in the Delhi State Legislative Assembly, 62 seats were won by Aap. And remaining 8 went to BJP. BJP got 5 more seats than in 2015. And Congress candidates are likely to lose deposits in 63 seats. So there is a minimum percentage of votes which you need to be polled. Otherwise, you lose a security deposit which is provided. Then below you have continuation of the news. We have read about this earlier too. That US President Donald Trump is going to visit India. He and his wife will be traveling. They will be going to Ahmedabad. And they will be I mean, in, in Delhi. So this is not important right now. But we will get when the visit takes place. We will get many important points. Then this is also regarding Muzaffarpur shelter home case. In which uh, you know physical assault of girl inmates in the shelter home is the case. And this was highlighted in the TIS report, Tata Institute of Social Science report, this shelter home in Muzaffarpur, Vihar. So the, the kingpin of this, the head of the shelter home, Rajesh Thakur and 11 others have been convicted and now the sentence has been announced which is they get life sentence. So Thakur and 11 others get life sentence, life term, 6 others are sentenced up to 7 years in jail. Then again, Nirbhaya case uh, news is also there regarding getting another date. So that continues to be news. But yeah, we'll discuss it when finally any further development takes place. On page 7, you have Ministry of Earth Science may go in for decadal forecast system. So our Indian Meteorological Department provides forecast. But what has been looked at is long-term forecast. That is, as you can see, is decade, over 10 years. So the way United Kingdom's Met Office provides better predictability in the climate time scale using long term you know, decadal forecast system. India's Ministry of Earth Science has also proposed a similar system and uh, it will begin as a research. On page 8 you have Supreme Court backs move to demolish restaurants near Hampi site. So the, the restaurants, hotels, guest houses and other buildings which have been constructed you know, at an over, on an oval islet formed by Tungapadra River and located west of the Hampi World Heritage Site will be demolished. So, Supreme Court has backed this move. It says constructions were in violation of Mysore Act of 1961. So, the place is a World Heritage Site of historical importance. On page 9, this is again the same news, Kaveri Delta region which has been declared as protected special agricultural zone by the state government of Tamil Nadu. So again here the news is agri zone may not affect ongoing Tamil Nadu projects. So the projects which are going on they would not be affected because this is to prevent further you know, fresh attempts at exploration of gas minerals. So what projects are already going on the government clarifies officials say that those will not be affected. And this is cleaning of drains and septic tanks claims 110 lives in 2019. This is the number of deaths which have taken place. This is a case of manual scavenging actually. So there is already prohibition of employment as manual scavengers and the Rehabilitation Act of 2013. But still we see that manual scavenging continues and that too without proper gear which results in deaths. On the editorial page, the first editorial is winning formula. So, this is regarding Aam Admi Party's win. It says it won on its governance record, but its tax tactics do not undermine BJP politics. So, it is said based on performance, governance record, AAP won, but the kind of politics BJP uses, it may not be able to be countered by you know, the Hindutva ideology. So, that cannot be countered by AAP. No. So that is there. It says BJP AAP did not contest the BJP on questions it framed. AAP success has not been in defeating the politics of BJP but in skirting it altogether. And then this is first call. So this is regarding how India and Sri Lanka share close ties. 
but distrust and differences remain about india sri lanka relations the various issues which we have recently to we saw how prime minister narendra modi urged sri lankan prime minister on a visit to india uh, mr mahinda rajapaksa to to implement the 13th amendment to the constitution but no commitment was given so this 13th amendment to sri lankan constitution is the one which calls for uh, you know devolution of powers to tamil in north and eastern region to form separate districts there but this amendment has still not been implemented even after ltt has been eliminated and there's need for reconciliation of the population here rehabilitation of the population here which is tamil tamil population then the lead article is the other delhi is distant yet so this talks about the delhi elections it says it has only underlined the vast gulf between national power center and the regional state like you know the center at the center we have bjp the aap has been able to win in delhi but still there is a huge gap between national power center and regional state and this is celebration of a pivotal achievement so this is again regarding aap elections it says in trying to set the delhi poll discourse to be based on its record aap provided delhi voter a clear choice then on opit page you have the delhi model of education so this is regarding aap government's initiatives to establish in schools and how it believes that quality education is necessary is a necessity not a luxury and then here you have 6 years on lokpal is a non starter so the necessary rules regulations and machinery are still not in place so though after huge delay lokpal has finally been appointed but still it has not started functioning and this is a new approach on investment so this talks about how for india and the us the, this will be crucial to uh, sustain momentum coming out of a first trade deal so india and us plan to have their first trade deal finalized by us president ronald trump is on a visit to india this month but uh, you know this uh, will be critical to it will be critical to sustain momentum so how investments can take place from the country like india has been removed from generalized system of preferences benefits by usa and then usa has con- uh, concerns with respect to various tariffs which have been announced even the new tariffs announced health says announced on medical devices in the present budget budget in 2020 so already usa was protesting against such uh, you know custom duties on medical devices and now a ses has also been added to it so that is it then when on page 12 you have the way we had howdy modi in us now when president trump is on a visit to india in ahmedabad he will be having this show called came cho trump then then this is center not to detain children left out of nrc so government has clarified in lok sabha that uh, it has decided not to send to detention children who were excluded from nrc in assam but whose parents were included so this is one clarification given because such cases also arose when nrc exercise was conducted in assam parents were included but children could not be included then this is built to include more tribes in st category so lok sabha passed the constitution schedule tribe order amendment bill by voice vote to include the parawara parivara and kalawara communities in the st category the siddhi siddhi tribes of belgavi and dharwad in karnataka would also be included in this category apart from those living in uttar karnataka and this is delhi dhaka for speedy return of rohingya so issue of repatriation of rohingya migrants has been discussed between india and bangladesh at the highest level and both countries have agreed to expedite the, their safe speedy and sustainable repatriation to their homes in myanmar on international page you have coronavirus poses very grave threat to the world says world health organization so number of cases in china are falling now but may, epidemic may be over by april and over 1000 are already dead 
and this is China denies role in cyber theft following Equifax accusations. So, US indicted four military hackers for personal data theft. So, China has denied involvement in any hacking activities after this uh, arrest which took place, indictment which has taken place. So, they have allegedly broken into the computer networks of Equifax credit reporting agency and stolen the personal information of tens of millions of people. So, China has been blamed for this hacking, you know, cyber security breach in USA. And the military ha hackers have been named by US, not arrested, named. Then, this is UK unveils laws to stop early re release of terrorists. So, this is a bill after the recent London terror attacks, US, uh, UK has passed this bill. So, you cannot release uh, terrorists early. On business page, you have economy not in trouble. So, this is what Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman says that economy is not in trouble. She points out to green shoots in IIP index of industrial production growth, GST collection, and higher FDI. And this is states given 81,043 crore rupees as GST compensation for April to September. So, cess collection has also increased since October, and center has released this amount to states. So, this has been stated by Ministry of State for Finance. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, asha.com. Thank you.